Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Monster Angling. And in today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys how I like to rig my bottom bouncers. And I know most of you guys probably know how to do this, but this is a really good tutorial just, just for all the new guys out there who wanna get into bottom bounce fishing. It's a lot of fun. It's a very effective way of fishing. And yeah, I'll give you guys a couple tips and show you guys how to do it. I put a little movie together from a couple weeks ago. Uh, me, Jeff Quasney, and my dad went out in Jeff's boat and we caught a couple pretty nice walleye. So nothing big or we didn't catch a lot. The weather wasn't really in our favor that day, but we ended up catching a couple pretty nice fish. So yeah, I'll meet you guys inside. Bye. Okay guys, we're inside now and I'm gonna show you guys a couple tricks and techniques on bottom mounting for walleye. There's lots of people that know how to do it. There's also lots of people that don't know how to do it too. So this is kind of for those people and just for guys that just want to learn a bit more about it. So before we get started, I just want to go over a couple things. I am not a great walleye fisherman. I'm always learning. The first thing you guys should know about bottom mounting for walleye is you need to have a proper weight set up for them. So I like to go with an extra ounce every 10 feet. If you're fishing 30 feet of water, put three ounces on. If you're fishing in 10 to 20 feet, you should have two ounces on. Stuff like that is a good thing to remember. If you have too heavy, it'll just drag across the bottom, kind of like, like this, and not bounce. And if you have too light, it's just gonna drag across and not bounce at all. You want it to bounce. Yeah, that's number one. And that's one of the most important ones, so remember that one. Number two is speed. And a good speed for trolling for walleye is about one mile an hour to about 1.5. And I know, not everyone has access to trolling motors or can get their boat motor going slow enough, but you want to get into there or else it's too fast. So I suggest if you don't have that, you can use the wind if you're going fast enough. I know um, in this episode you guys are about to watch, we actually drifted with the wind because it was windy enough we could. So yeah, that's number two. Number three is gear. You don't want to use your perch setups. You don't want to use a heavy pike rod. You want something that's stiff enough that doesn't. it's not bending over all the time. You want something you can see the bites. Um, I usually like to go with about 10 to 12 pound braid on my bottom mounting rods. That's um, that's about where you want it. You can go a bit heavier, but I wouldn't go much lighter than 10 pound test. I know lots of guys use uh, bait casting rods for bottom mounting. I know I've tried that before too. I like spinning rods more for that, but that's just me. Yeah, so that's number three. Number four, just a couple more tricks and tips. Um, put the head of the worm on the hook first. So that's the brown end. And it's, kind of more but harder part of the worm so it'll stay on the hook better and it also is more natural that's how they'd be in the water too so when you guys are fishing for walleye try to locate the schools of fish too if you see a fish on the bottom on your depth finder your fish finder you want to try to find places that there's a lot of fish in one area so i know not everyone has fish finders there's a couple of cheaper options from garmin and hummingbird the older hummingbirds are pretty good i know i have a garmin striker 4 i've uh, used that for quite a while now i'm super happy with it it's uh about a 250 dollars setup when you get all the uh everything set up for it um but yeah um depth finders are a very big help in your bottom mounting so uh look for humps or changes in the bottom is also very important because those walleye are going to be stacked up where there's kind of a transition so either on a hump or a drop off or a, a mix between uh, rocks and sands good too so yeah that's pretty much it for that um, I know lots of guys make this mistake when they're first starting to bottom mount to try to just cast their bottom mouncer. The proper way to do it is to just drop it right beside the boat. You don't want it at an angle like you're trolling. You want it to just be almost straight down and you want to be able to feel that bouncing every couple seconds. So yeah, that's it. Um, color for bottom mounting for me is pretty, I, I switch it up quite a bit. Um, I know for me bright colors would work really good like a perch color with um, orange and yellow and green is pretty good. Um, I know other guys will use just straight colors like silver or um, I've tried red and whites before too. They work pretty good for me, but that's just preference more. So you guys can try to change it up when you were bottom mounting. If you're not having any luck on one specific color, it's not a big deal. But I'll just kind of show you guys how you're supposed to rig these things up. Like it's pretty self-explanatory, but they have a barrel swivel on the one end on the uh, spinner side and on the bottom mounter side, they just have just a snap swivel. So you just clip that on here. And yeah, it's about two and a half, maybe two feet long past the bottom mounter. So you want it to be bouncing. But anyway, that's another one. Um, that's pretty much it for when you're trying to bottom mount. It's pretty self-explanatory. I know 
Bottom mounting is a great way to fish a new body of water. Um, it's a great way to cover water. The fish love it and it's a really good technique. So yeah, that's enough talking. Before I get started, I'm just gonna say a quick thank you to Jeff for taking us out on his boat. We had a lot of fun. Hopefully we can do it again soon. And yeah, guys, hope you enjoy the video. Let's go. Okay, Jeff's hooked up here on a big walleye, we think. That's a good one. Hope the audio is okay. It's pretty windy out here, but. <laughs> Jeez, that is a nice That's a good one. Whoa. He's a jumper. <laughs> Down, here. Down he goes. Good release. <laughs> you want to get that cold thing? hands. Yeah. Hands are cold. How do you feel? Good. That's, that's good, but there's a dandy on the bottom there right now. Yep, we're getting back to fishing. <laughs> okay, Paul's hooked up here. It's all on, yep. <laughs> Springy. Oh, he gave you the slip. <laughs> oh, perfect. Good job, let's see. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a good one. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Is that right? Yep. Go for the release. There it goes. Okay, guys, we just uh, caught our second fish here. I'm shivering. I can't even talk right. But we're having an okay day now. Well, we are. We're just loving life. I'm just going to throw the rest of my sandwich out. I hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Those fish are built like crazy. You know, the ones in the river are built good too, but not not like that. Okay guys, I'll show you kind of what I'm using. Just hooking these on. Using bottom bouncers here. Jeff's got one here. How does it feel? Feels like a decent one. I think that's a good one. Oh, you, you tricked me. I showed you that trick. <laughs> yeah. Learn from the best. That's a good one. Oh yeah. One is under his chin, so that means hitting him on the side. Yep. So it's a reaction. Here we'll get this guy. Look at that. Probably another 24, 25 incher. You betcha. Let's get a release. He's ready to go. Nice. Us wet. He's mad at us. Yeah. Yeah, guys, it was choppy out here. Calm down. Good day. Let's keep going. Let's get another fish on. Probably another 24 or something. More, maybe less, I'm not sure. You got another eater there, partner. Yeah. It's okay, you need to eat some too. I'm just getting us into some smaller fish. <laughs> if you call that a small fish, I yeah. can roll. You know, that's big. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was in the, like an 11 foot fish. Right yeah. Into your water. Yep. Go see your friend. Yes! We get the last, uh, what, 15 minutes with three fish? Yep. We're freaking yeah. starting to hammer them. Dad, get your, get, keep fishing. Right. Dad's got one. Finally. Heater. Never do that again if you tried. And there's, there's no <laughs> Good job. It's in the live well. Massacre. There's Dad's. Yeah, right in the kill. Crazy! Hope you guys enjoyed the video there. Um, had a lot of fun out there with Jeff the other day. We uh, didn't catch a pile of fish. We caught some pretty nice ones though. You guys have to remember a 25 inch walleye is a very respectable walleye. I know guys are always catching 28s and 30s and 
but a 25 inch walleye that those are the up and comers you guys need to put those ones back because uh they're the future so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video once again make sure to like and subscribe for more there's some really exciting stuff happening in the near future we're doing a little road trip coming up in the next month so stay tuned for that but anyway like i said hope you guys enjoyed the video Bye bye